Yeah. Yeah. We heard a lot of talk about about uh, Frost and about uh, Swain. Hadn't heard much about Justin Garrett. Uh, what's his situation? Well, I mean, and to me, Justin is uh, you know he's he's pushing Darren uh, a lot. Uh, you know, they, they're the same type of player. You know, Darren just got, you know, two or three years on him as far as playing experience. But they're the same kind of guy. I mean, both are fast. They can, they got, you know, limited range. Uh, I like the competition between that, that, that position. That's probably one of the better positions for guys to, uh, you know, compete for a starting job. Uh, you know, Frost and Swain, long way away in my opinion. I think JG, you know, he, you know, he's made a lot of mental reps, but every day he gets a little bit better and better on his alignments and assignments and his communication. Uh, but I'm very pleased on where Joe Justin is at. Could there be a time when you decided to move him to the other side? That's, that would be a you know that's a cheers decision there. If uh, if we ever decided to, if to have you know four or five you know our best linebackers, we wanted our best linebackers on the field. I think that would be a, call, a cheers and Van Gordon's decision to say, okay, these are our best three guys, and now let's move one to Sam, move one to Will, and then get another Mike out, get a Mike on the football field. If those are our best three guys, that being JG and. Uh, and Darren, that, that may be something for consideration from the head coach. Now, just talk about what you seen out of Jay Paul in the spring, kind of in that, in that middle of the You got to get him to the point where, you know, he takes over a, a defense, you know, and, and get him to that comfort level. Um, uh, I, you know, it's, and it's got to be every day. It can't be some days, you know, you, you take command and hold. It's got to be every single day. You're the general. You're the general defense. You know, the guys are looking into your eyes. And so you got to have that, that, wolf, uh, that wolf mentality or that gladiator mentality. And, uh, you, and you can't have your eyes down, can't slump your shoulders down when things go bad. So we need that. We need that leadership from him. You know, you've played a year now, a year and a half. You've been around the system. You played, you know, 12, 13 games uh, last season. So now you got to take command of it. And so for me, it's just, you know, a lot of times, you just, right now, you just a lot of guys are just in that survival mode. Can I get myself lined up? And that's where you have to take pride and come in on your own and take a pen and paper and start writing where everybody's at. That's when guys, you know, your players respect that. Your players respect when your linebacker knows where everybody's supposed to be at. And then if a play bust, you know, he can go into the hole and get it fixed then without having to come to the sideline. That's the expectation level that we have from from the Mike linebacker. And, uh, and I'm hoping that Jake can uh, to, can meet that challenge. How was Joar doing before he got hurt? Uh, you know, just okay. You know, again, because he, he had been playing Sam last year. And they had, he was playing in a new position. So he was... You know, kind of feeling his way through it, and, uh, making a lot of mental errors. But uh, you know, that's kind of like expected of everybody right now. A lot of guys are making those same mental errors. But he's doing well um, up until that point. Uh, it's just a tragedy that you know uh, his, his circumstances just happened recently. Go back to Jake. Do you see signs of him taking that leadership role? Depends on how much you want to work. You know, I mean, it's from now until uh, you know till September is a long time away. And, uh, and if a guy works at it every single day, if he puts 20, 25 minutes in a day, he'll look like a completely different player. If you don't do that, you'll look right, right where we started at now. So it's all up on the individual in this part of it because, again, the guys that learn the system and know where everybody's at and all the checks and the ins and outs of it, those are the guys that's going to play. And uh, right now, because we're in practice seven and eight, you know, and then we got all the way up until, you know, until again to September to get the system down. If you don't do anything to the end, no, you won't get it. That's any of them. Uh, so, again, to answer your question about Jake, it's depending on how hard he works in the offseason to learn the defense.